Now, uh, I know you do, because uh, I do as well, get a lot of uh, people coming up to me, being as we work for Disney, who own the Angels, and say, hey, what's with the rally monkey? Mm-hmm. Well, what, what is the history of that? A lot of people have called this morning asking us that uh, very thing. Well, the E! Channel did their very first true Hollywood story about this Cinderella team. Mm-hmm. All season long... He's been there whenever the angels needed him. The cute, lovable, curly-tailed mascot who jumps up and down when his team needs a few runs is one of the feel-good stories of the year. But his road to fame and fortune was not always that smooth. The rally monkey is the subject of this E! True Hollywood story. (laughs) The rally monkey was born in the rainforest of South America, 1975. Fond of swinging from trees and flinging his own crap, it was hard for Monkey to stand out from the other monkeys who were also fond of swinging from trees and flinging their own crap. But Monkey dreamed of bigger things, though he wasn't sure what. In 1981, Monkey stowed away aboard a freighter and made his way to America. He soon found a job with a bank that was having trouble getting new customers. He became known as the Lone Monkey. And within weeks, the bank had five new branches. Soon after, he was hired by an upstart sandwich shop called Quiznos. He was then known as the Toasted Sub Monkey. And their stock quickly went through the roof. Next, he was hired by a moyle who recently moved to a new Jewish community. He was known as the Foreskin Monkey. And soon the moyle was performing up to 50 circumcisions a day. After that... He was hired by Alcoholics Anonymous to speak with recovering alcoholics. He was then known as the Sober Monkey and helped thousands of people turn their lives around. His next job was helping the producers of a small independent film that was struggling at the box office. He became known as the Big Fat Greek Monkey, and the rest is history. (laughs) Monkey has always loved sports, so he worked at a bowling alley where he was known as the Spare Monkey. (laughs) At a golf course known as the putt monkey and for a hockey team as the zamboni monkey then with just 40 cents and a big ass banana in his pocket monkey moved to hollywood where he was forced to work as male escort monkey fluffer monkey and korean massage with full release monkey he then got back into sports working for the lakers as shack monkey for the sparks as women's basketball sucks monkey And the Clippers as not even he can help this team, Monkey. At long last, he got a job with the Angels as the Rally Monkey. We all know and love. Being Disney-owned, he was hired as a part-time employee so they wouldn't have to give him benefits. (laughs) But the Rally Monkey isn't complaining. He's just happy helping the Angels score runs, which he does quite well. (laughs) We hope you've enjoyed this E! True Hollywood story. Stay tuned for E's Wild on Cleveland.